Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode in this Pi game tutorial series. Now in this series we're trying to program our own game using the module Pi game in Python. And the aim of today's tutorial is to implement movement into our game. Now let me show you what I mean by that. Over here up on screen you will see that we have a canvas which we learned how to program last episode. And when I now press my key binds, for example, up and down, you see that this um, dot that we have on the screen moves depending on what key bind I press. Now I can also go left and right, I can go diagonally and all over the place. And this is exactly the result that we want to have at the end of this tutorial. So let me close that down and we're back in our editor where we left off after the first episode. You'll remember in the first episode, we looked at how to um, program a blank canvas. We learned how to create a caption, which we do in this line of code over here. We um, also uh, coded a, um, we also talked about how we can um, make the determine the size of the window by adjusting the parameters in the parentheses over here. And we also talked about how we can um, close down the game and interrupt the while loop. So if I go ahead and run what we uh, coded last week, you'll remember that we had a blank canvas. All right, so moving on, how can we now uh, get this moving, moving circle into our canvas. So the first thing we want to do is we somehow want to draw a circle into our canvas. So in order to draw a circle, we're going to call um, a class method called draw circle in Pygame. So we're going to write pygame.draw <clears throat> dot circle and this um, class method it takes several parameters the first parameter that we have to input is the surface on which we want to draw the circle and the surface is of course the window uh, which we have up here so I, I always call it canvas but you can call it surface or window or whatever you want uh, so the first parameter is the canvas or window, and then we have to follow it up with some more parameters. Um, the uh, color of the circle, we're going to make it white. So uh, this is going to be 255, 255, 255. Um, and for the people wondering what exactly this tuple is over here, this is basically the RGB uh, color notation. Um, so you can uh, look that up um, if you want to. Uh, so basically it's red, green, and blue components, RGB, red, green, blue components, and white has all of them set to the maximum value, which is 255. So just so you know what we are doing over here. Then the next thing we want to input is another tuple. And it is going to be an X and a Y value, both integers, where we want to place the um, circle in our window. So we're going to put an integer X uh, separated by a comma from integer Y. And of course, we need to define the variables up top. Um, so X is going to be 250 and Y is also going to be 250. The reason why I'm choosing 250 for both our X and Y values is because it's going to appear in the middle of our screen. Because remember, our window is 500 by 500 and 250 by 250, that is the um, center of the screen. So we're going to place it right in the center and a final parameter we still need to um, Input is the radius, the radius of the circle. And the radius of our circle 
is going to be equal to, let's say it's gonna be equal to 15 pixels. All right, so now we have managed to draw a circle. Let me go ahead and run it. And you'll see that in the middle of our screen, just like we wanted it to, we have a uh, circle which is um, white, yeah? So this is exactly what we told Pi game to do, and this is the result that we have. So moving on, we now want to move this circle on the canvas. And this is where the important and uh, most interesting component of today's tutorial comes in. Uh, this is the user input and the assigning of keybinds. So first you need to define the user input. Input is equal to pygame.key.get get pressed. So this variable that we've just created over here uh, is assigned the value of a key that we press on our keyboard. And now we have several if statements that we need to make. So depending on what key bind we press, we want the um, circle to go in the corresponding direction. So of course, if we press, um, if we press the left button, so user input square brackets pi game dot key underscore left and then if this returns tr if this condition is true then we want to subtract um, a specific value from our x coordinate uh, that's how we move to the left so we're going to subtract a value called vel, which is gonna be the velocity, and I'm going to define the value further up top, and I'm gonna say that the vel, the velocity, is equal to, let's say, 10 uh, pixels. So for every iteration of the while loop, if we press the key bind left, it will move 10 pixels to the left for every iteration of the while loop. Yeah? So we're gonna see uh, that in a second. So now we have our left key assigned, and we of course want to do that for all the key binds. We want to be able to go up, down, left, and right. Uh, so we're gonna do this a couple of times. Uh, so one, two, oh, hold on. One, two, three, and four. So for every um, key bind, we want one if statement. So this is the one for the left, this is the one for the right. Um, then we want one for up, and we also want one for down. <coughs> down, hold on. Make sure to capitalize this, okay. So x, if we want to move to the right, we want to add to the x value. If we want to go up, we want to subtract from the y value. And if we want to go down, we want to add to the y value. All right, so this looks good for the moment. Uh, we have now um, told Python what our keybinds are and what we want it to do when we press them. So let's go ahead and run this and just check out where we are at the moment. All right, so we have our small dot that we had before. Now I'm gonna press some keybinds and you're gonna see some interesting things happen. So I'm just gonna press up for a moment and I'm gonna press down and I'm gonna press, yeah, now the dot has already gone off screen. Um, so let me go ahead and run this again and show you what happens if I press left and right. So I'm gonna press right now and I'm gonna press left and up again and down again and right. And you'll see two things happening. The first thing is that the movement of this circle is super fast. So I can barely control this circle. It goes off screen really quick and I can't find it after I, um, 
after I uh, after after the ball has gone off screen. And the second thing is, um, besides going really fast, it also draws the path of the circle. And we want to somehow find a remedy for both these things, um, because that is, of course, not the result which we want. So the first thing we want to um, do to make uh, the path go away is that for every iteration of the while loop, we want to fill the screen black again. So we're going to write win.fill and then we're going to pass in a tuple, which is going to be 0, 0, 0, which is the color, the RGB color code for uh, black. So now that we have um, done that, we will see that if I go ahead and run the code again, it shows my circle. And now I'm going to press some keybinds, such as up and down, and you'll see that we don't have the path um, showing up anymore. Yeah, so let me just uh, restate that to, to, to make sure that you guys understood what happens. So for every iteration of this while loop that we have running over here, we have the window being filled with the color um, black, and then we have our circle being drawn, and then we have the input of the key binds having an effect on where the circle goes. So it's important to include this um, uh, function over here to make sure that the um, path of the circle you're drawing isn't always being shown. And now the second thing we wanted to alleviate was the uh, speed at which the ball moves across the screen. It is way too fast and it's very hard to coordinate. So we're going to make it go slower by adding a time delay. And we do that by adding um, the pygame.time.delay. And it delays the loop by a certain amount of milliseconds, as you can see here. So let's start off and delay uh, the thread by 10, every loop by 10 milliseconds. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again. And now you'll see that I, I'm pressing the keybinds just as hard, but now it's going far slower than it was before. You can clearly see that. And um, I mean, I can go ahead and make the, the time delay even longer. I'm going to make it um, 100 milliseconds and run it again. And now you'll see that it's going even slower than it was before when I, um, but I'm still pressing the key binds just as hard for just as long. Um, and it's going far, far slower. Yeah, so uh, now we have managed to uh, get the desired result, which is a small ball, which um, moves ac across the screen just as we wanted it to. This is a key component in pretty much all the games that you'll be programming in Pygame. So it's definitely a component that you need to understand really well. And yeah, so if you learned something new in this video and um, you want to stay up to date with the newest in this series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel and we'll see each other in the next video.